Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Rod's World. When I'm not working, I'm coming with my mom to pick up my sister at her middle school. She goes to this middle school. So yeah, the school has two parking lots. This one, staff only. And this one has nothing on the entrance. It does not say staff parking only. See, the principal thinks this here is staff parking, but it doesn't say anywhere staff only parking. It's just an open parking lot. My mom requires an accessible parking space such as this one or this one. What the principal did is they turned around the accessible sign to try and hide the fact that it's an accessible spot. There's still the big blue mark on it though. Another one of her tactics is to get teachers to park in these stalls that do not have accessible signs so that we don't. So we came here and the person parked here did not have a sign and the person parked here did not have a sign so we parked right here. Not blocking, people could still go in. So we parked right here. And the vice principal came up to us and she said, you guys cannot park here. We do not want children walking around here. I have a question. What are these two things? They're portable classrooms. If you guys don't want children walking within the area, why would you have two portable classrooms right here? And on top of that, that's the school exit right there. And that's the front of the school right there. Kids walk past here, up there, to go home. If she doesn't want any kids walking within this area, why is there a sidewalk? And why are there no signs saying kids cannot access this area? She kept on demanding that we move, but we kept on saying, if you guys get rid of the two cars that are parked in the accessible spot without signage, we will gladly pull right into there. She kept on saying, you guys cannot park here, this is staff only parking lot. But as I showed you guys, there is zero signs saying it's staff only. So I told her, if it's staff only, why isn't there a sign? Staff only is over in the other parking lot. And I also reminded her that the laws in Canada state that you cannot reserve an accessible parking spot. We just stayed in the spot anyways until we picked up the kids. So we both phoned the school board and left a voicemail with the school trustee's assistant about a week ago. Do you think they replied to us? No. Why would they? They don't care. So when it happened again, they had two people parked in the accessible spot without any signs. I phoned the non-emergency police line and asked them what we can do if we can give them a ticket. I learned something new. The police told me they had no jurisdiction in this parking lot because it is private property. Even though it's a public school, the parking lot is still private. And if I have any complaints, I have to let the school know. Even though my complaint is for the school. I call this BS because, I mean, come on. The police obviously have jurisdiction in a parking lot. Which is ridiculous because I've seen police officers give a ticket to somebody parked in the accessible spot without a sign. They just don't care. Why would they? Who cares? I give the principals at this middle school zero out of ten thumbs up. Yep, you guys have guessed it. Thumbs down. Thanks for watching my video, guys. If you guys agree with me, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe, guys. Those are... Car. There's a car. There's a car.